Modern JavaScript comes with two new methods, object.groupy and map.groupy. So let's take a look at how these new methods work and why I recommend that you stick with the map version. To demonstrate these methods, we create an array of items and these methods actually work with any iterable and array is just a very easy example of an iterable. And here the individual items are objects, each with their own name, type and a quantity value. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to group the item by their type. So vegetables should contain one item, fruit should contain two items, and similarly meat should have two items. And this is exactly what is provided by the new group by methods. The first one is object.groupby and as indicated by the fact that the method exists on object, it actually returns an object. The group by method takes two arguments. The first one is an iterable and here we are passing our inventory array. And the second one is a function which will get past the individual items from the iterable and you should return the value that you want the item to be grouped by. And here we want the items to be grouped by their type. The best way to really understand it is to look at the result. The result is going to be an object as we mentioned before and the keys of that object are going to be the individual types. So vegetable, fruit and meat and the values are going to be the arrays which contain all the items that match that particular type. Now objects are great for key value pairs, however, they do come with some limitations. One big one is the fact that the keys can only be things that can be indexed on an object. So it has to be something like a string or a number. It cannot be another object. And perhaps more importantly, it doesn't have convenient methods that make it very obvious that you are trying to use this object like a hash map structure. And this is where the other method map.groupy comes into play. It has exactly the same arguments as object.groupy, but unlike object.groupy which returns an object, map.groupy will return a map. In terms of the processing also it's going to be the same. We will get a map where the individual keys will be whatever we return from the callback function, in this particular case the type, and the values will be arrays that contain all of the items that had that particular type. So the key differentiator is that we get a map instead of an object, which means that we have convenience methods like we can check the presence of a particular key, and similarly we can use other methods within a map as well, for example get and set. Now there is a reason why we have both methods, that is we have object.groupy despite map.groupy being the preference of mine. And the reason is that objects are lighter than maps. So if you are doing some high performance computing, for example, you are building your own version of React, then perhaps object.groupy might make more sense for you. As always, thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. Check out pro courses on Boolean art and I will see you in the next one.